Hello friends, welcome back to Gadget Rishi. Today we will talk about how to remove the fuel injection valve on a generator engine, pressure test it and mount a new one. So we are starting with the basics, removing the cover on the hot box, opening the cylinder cover top. to get access to the injection valve itself. Then we start with loosening the high pressure pipe. So first we take off the leakage pipe from the fuel injection main pipe. Then we loosen the allen bolts and the lock nut which is keeping the fuel injection pipe in a secured position so there are two of these one towards the fuel pump side and another towards the injector side so it's very important to remove this or to loosen them at least to be able to dismount the fuel injection pipe smoothly so there is a lock nut and then there is the allen bolt itself Next we loosen the connection for the fuel injection pipe. On the top as well as on the bottom by the fuel pump. You might have to give it a small adjustment here and there to be able to freely remove it. Now that the injection pipe is out, we have access to the threaded piece. So for that we loosen the two bolts which are keeping this piece and now getting access to the threaded piece itself. This is the high pressure pipe which connects to the injector. So that's the threaded piece which just came off. Now we remove the old gasket as we'll have to replace it before mounting the new one. Now we start working on the top so we have to remove the thrust piece sitting on top of the injector. Remember this is uh, tightened to a very heavy torque so it requires an equivalent amount of large force to undo it. The thrust piece is out. Now we get access to the thrust ring. And there's a special tool for removing this. We screw it in and then give it a lift.
now we have direct access to the injector and this is the special tool for dismounting and mounting of the injection valve itself we screw it all the way in to give it a, a jacking effect and once we feel that it is lifted from its position then we can safely pull it out yeah there we have the injection valve coming out smoothly from the pocket that's our injection pocket itself so we give it a clean and we cover it with a rag so nothing can go inside and next we have brought this injection valve to the workshop to give it a pressure test to verify the opening pressure we are doing a 2000 hour pms job here so we know the valve would be opening at slightly less pressure so for that we'll have to readjust the injection pressure so we mount it in the special stand loosen the lock nut and then we will uh, put it in the calibration device to check and readjust the injection pressure now it's inside the hydraulic valve testing device and we are ready to give the pumps to see at what pressure it is opening and the, that's the spray pattern which looks quite okay it's opening now roughly at around 320 bar we would like to have it open at around 375 bar so we adjust the opening pressure by turning the adjustment start in the clockwise direction so we'll get it to about 375 yeah we are there now 375 380 bar opening pressure the spray pattern we checked earlier was good so we could now reuse the same injection valve we are tightening the lock nut for the pressure adjustment start give it a slight tap and now we clean the pocket the injector pocket we will give it a air blow and we'll also give it a small wire brush to make sure the seating surfaces are neat and clean and the injector can sit down smoothly with a good tight seal the pocket and the seat itself is nice and clean now so we do a final air blow in, pre pre in preparation to have the injector back on we will uh, check the o-rings 
if uh, needed replace them and uh, before installing them we will lubricate them with molly coat and we use the same tool we used earlier for dismounting for mounting as well so there the injector goes back in the pocket the tool is out now we give a gentle tap to make sure the injector goes all the way in and now from where we removed the threaded piece we'll have to inspect and turn the injector in such a way that it is aligned for installation of the threaded piece we turn it slowly slowly to get the exact place where we will have to install the threaded piece yeah there we have it in line so the threaded piece is ready the threads lubricated with molly coat and we gently screw it in by hand and later we will give it a torque tight now it is tightened to the respective top then we replace the gasket make sure it is sitting in the right place and then we have this uh, hexagonal locking piece there is a o-ring inside lubricate that one if needed replace then we put the two holding bolts we will not tighten them right now we will first connect the injection pipe tighten it and then finally we will give it a full tight now is the turn to put the injection pipe back again it will be a little bit of adjustment here and there on the top and the bottom to get the right axis to carefully guide it in we start with the top top piece only turn it by hand do not use spanners yet it might lead to damage threads once we are sure that uh, the threads the first few threads have gone in only then we will proceed with the spanner so remember the top first
and then the bottom connecting on the fuel pump. Both these connections have a torque. So once we have them hand tied, then we will uh, proceed by tightening them to the respective torque. Now we connect the leakage pipe. Then we tighten the two securing bolts for the hexagonal piece. Now we come back on the top, we put the thrust ring, then we put the thrust piece. Remember there are two uh, guiding pins which should go in first and then it should sit on top of the thrust ring. Then we put the, the lock nut. And then we will tighten it to the specified torque. It will be a heavy torque. In our case, it was around three, uh, 750 Newton meters. Now we inspect the cylinder cover, the top recesses, make sure no foreign particles have gone there we clean the o-ring for the cylinder cover and uh, it's time to mount it back in that completes the job uh, we hope you like the video if you like more stay subscribed